Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of TC Talk, back today with another video, and in today's video we have some cool pseudo spoilers, or some stuff that just came out last night uh, from random sources with the promotion of the Blitz decks coming out in Mistvale. We got a little sneak peek at some of the commons that are going to be in the Blitz decks, as well as just what the stuff looks like in general. So we're going to go over it, we're going to talk about it, we're going to enhance enhance we're going to enhance these uh pictures and try to get up as close as we can to see what these cards may say kind of have a little bit of fun speculation and get your thoughts as a community but we'll get right into it if you're new to the channel welcome thank you so much for stopping by hopefully you enjoy your stay feel free to check out my other content i've been doing a lot of alpha clash and flesh and blood content so definitely check that out let me know what you think if you're long staying supporter, thank you so much as always feel free to check out the discord down below as well as the channel membership uh still staying strong with just over 20 about 22 23 channel members y'all are insane thank you so much i'm um, super excited for this new set and we're gonna get right into it so we have three promos here uh for the upcoming blitz decks for misfail so we have one for zen i'll go back for zen one for new and then one for enigma and then i have enhanced pictures uh that i'm gonna go over but First, I just wanted to show these. They're very similar layout, I think, to the heavy hitters blitz decks, which saw really like good success. People enjoyed them a lot, uh, which basically the blitz decks will have a rainbow foil young hero, which is really, really cool. And then also, as you can see, full art, like full extended arts, one of each color of a certain common, right? For heavy hitters, it was agile wind up or it was um, Bonebreaker Bellow was another one. And then what was the last one? I forgot what the last one was, let me know. Uh, but those were the full arts, right? And you got, I think you got two from a certain color, but this one looks like it's gonna be one from each color strip. So you probably have one extended art for each um, color, which is really cool. Uh, but Zen, as you can see here, has a full art common called Biting Breeze, which is a zero for three with go again we'll read try to read a little bit of the text as i showed the enhanced pictures uh but this is the zen one the new show shows off hiss we will get hiss in one of each pitch color blue yellow and red uh and then finally enigma has something called waning vengeance right so these were the promos for each one as you see zen up close you see buying breeze here it looks like it's a zero for three at red so we can assume zero for two and then zero for one we can't quite see the the attack counters but just knowing common sense on how flesh and blood works it's what it's going to be and it's covered purposefully they're doing so good at teasing stuff this set uh when this hits we don't know what happens something in your banish zone again <laughs> what could that mean uh but i think there's a couple of different things that i think it could be like the most logical answer is it could be like a zero for three version of flex clause if you're not familiar from dynasty flex clause is a one for four two block go again that says when this hits create a crouching tiger in your banish zone um so this by embrace could be like the zero for three version of it uh because like when this hits create a crouching tiger is right in the middle where you can't see it, it says in your banish zone uh i also think it could be something like you know your next your when this hits your next crouching tiger next crouch attack in your band zone gets plus one but that would be kind of like growl so it'd be kind of a reprint just a different name so i don't see it being that i think the most logical one right now is it's the zero for three version of flex clause but we'll have to see i'm really excited to see how these work out seeing the word breeze is a little bit exciting well as well maybe we get some cool combo stuff that we can do with breeze rider boots uh this doesn't have combo innately in it right but just really fun to see that let me know in the comments down below what you think i'm not gonna go too deep because I mean, I would really be 10 hat theory. I think the most logical thing is it's a zero for three that creates a crouching tiger, which is really good when you pair it with Zen's ability and other stuff and tire stripe Shuko and things like that. So really excited to see that one. Then we have new. Now, I know these are a little bit blurred, but I only, I only get screenshot up really up close, right? Uh, as you can see, Hiss. So we've been speculating what Hiss is, right? We got a little bit of a, in news, legendary specialization. It says create a Hiss in slit or fang strike and slither in hand right um now we know that hiss uh and i think hiss was a part of that too I, I forgot the exact wording but as you can see hiss likely a mystic assassin i must assume attack reaction it says target assassin and you can't see the rest card gets plus one at blue i'm assuming plus two at yellow plus three at red and then if you've pitched blank whatever it is create a slither um, if I had to guess, I would say target assassin or mystic, uh, target assassin or mystic, 
uh, attack action card gets plus one. That's my guess. Um, and so we'll be able to buff both mystic cards and assassin cards. It could just say target assassin attack action card as well. It doesn't have to be just mystic. Maybe they want to keep it just in the assassin archetype. Uh, but regardless, plus one, plus two, plus three. And then I'm going to assume it says if you've pitched a blue card this turn, create a slither in your hand or something like that. That's my guess. So maybe you're trying to play, you know, a stealth card, some, give it go again or have go again somehow. Uh, play this as an attack reaction and then create a slither in your hand because you pitched a blue, right? Or whatever the case may be. I think that that is pretty, like, it not likely, but that I think that's my biggest guess out of everything. Um, I don't want to speculate too much, but this is does show that, you know, they're, you're going to be playing into these uh, attack reactions on the stealth cards. And also, as you've noticed, like, if you see Zen, this is a common, and so is this. So it's just their commons, right? This is like the agile windups of this set, right? Like, really good cards, but they're also just kind of common equipment, and maybe they help make things go a little bit, right? So that's news. Let me know down in the comments down below what you think it may be. Um, but I do think it's, like, target assassin uh attack action well the thing is it would say target assassin attack action card yeah yeah it would say target assassin attack action card gets plus one if you pitch the blue card this turn create a slither i think that's what it's going to be um and then the last one waging vengeance this is the hardest one to read uh it's obviously in every pitch red is ward three i'm assuming blue is ward one yellow is ward two and it says when something happens pitched spectral shield we have no idea uh, but probably some type of aura that can also create a spectral shield if you fulfill the condition, uh, which could be pretty good, uh, right? Having Ward 3 on the board and creating another Ward 1, who knows? It looks like um, we don't know how much they cost, right? That's kind of the biggest thing with all these. We don't know how much they cost. We can assume with Ninja it's going to cost 0 because 0 for 3, pretty standard. I'm assuming Hiss is going to be cost 0. It may be cost 1 because they're trying to play into Redback Shroud. That's a possibility. Um, but William Vengeance for Ward 3 is pretty good. This might end up costing something, but this one's the biggest question mark to me out of all of them. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below what this could be. But regardless, really, really cool stuff. They're doing so good at piecemealing stuff out. Uh, we should have two more spoilers this weekend at the Bowhard in Valencia. We have eight spoilers coming out at the Bowhard in Richmond. I'm assuming it's the, like the standard common equipment. And then we're going to have the uh tale of desire tale of the dragon or whatever the three the three tales for each hero i think those are gonna be the weapons and then we'll start in the actual spoiler season come may 13th and 14th so super excited uh really interested to see what this set has to bring let me know down in the comments down below what you think of each of these what you think they may be if you i didn't mention something that you think it is i'd love to hear it uh it's always fun speculating this stuff but yeah if you like this type of content please leave a like comment or subscribe if not me it's totally fine Go to another creator, leave a like, comment, subscribe on their stuff. Let's get more people seeing these games, having fun, especially going into the new set. And yeah, I'll see y'all next time on TC Talk. Thank y'all so much. Have a good day.